Yo, so in couple of days time, or should I say in few days time, or about a week time, Bernard Ball will be repeating history at the London Stadium. Should I say repeating history? Because, you know, right after, you know, Bernard Boy broke into the international market, he's been doing this thing over and over and over again. But when it comes to the repetition of history, it's in regards to the London Stadium. Because last year, Bernard Boy made a very huge history by filling the 60 ton capacity at the London stadium bro Bernard Boyd you know filled the London stadium with about 60 ton capacity and this time around he's you know going to be repeating history again and it's happening on the 29th of June yeah 29th of June that happens to be I think Saturday next week right yeah Saturday today is 22nd yeah today is 22nd so in about seven days time yeah bro will be filling the stadium again yeah and like i already told you like burner boy for many years now i think you know in few years now since the release of the african giant burner boy has been you know making history great history and recent in recent times he's been named as the most grossing african musician yeah most grossing ah uh, yeah the most gross african musician yeah when it comes to selling of shows yeah, we all know the likes of the video, Burn Up, I mean, the video with Kid, uh, Asha K, and all these people have been doing it. We had, I mean, uh, Rima filling the O2 Arena. We had Asha K filling the O2 Arena. We had Risk Kid filling O2 Arena, Madison Square Gardens, uh, the Tottenham Stadium. We had the video filling the uh, O2 Arena. Like, in mid, like, they've been doing this on a maximum basis. But when it comes to Burner Boy, yeah, when it comes to Odogu Burner Boy, he's been doing this on a maximum basis. And, uh, like, Charlie, he's really doing great. He is really, really doing great, bro. Burner Boy is doing great. Really putting the African, you know, continent on the map. Like, when it comes to musician, one of the musicians putting Africa on the continent. You know, in, like, I think for many years now, we've had series of African musicians doing, you know, greater things. But the rate at which... You know, Burner Boy is, you know, flying with the African map. I think Charlie, he really needs to be respected. He really needs to be respected, bro. Because, like, when it comes to all the shows, he's the one playing all of them. When it comes to winning the award, when it comes to the Grammys, when it comes to the BETs, you know, like, bro has been the one doing everything. He is the one champion in everything. So, I think, yeah, Charlie, we, we should... You know, you can choose to hate Burner Boy. You can choose to hate Burner Boy. You can choose to not to like anything about Burner Boy. But it doesn't take away the fact that he is, you know, the African giant. You know, sometimes I sit back and wonder. I sit back and wonder, try to compare Burner Boy to any other musician in Africa. And I go like, bro. Yeah, we have series of African musicians doing great. We have series of African musicians doing bigger things. But, you know, when it, like, trying to compare them to what Burner Boy is doing, I think, bro, like, you know, like, there's no competition, bro. There's no competition. Sometimes, like, I already thought, I sit back and go, like, so, the next African musician, okay, now, let, let me get rid of, uh, the, the Burner Boy's generation, the likes of David Do Whiskey, um, the likes of David Do Whiskey, uh, the uh, risk kid and you know, Bernard Boy himself, and you know, bring it down to the new generation. Yeah, the new generation. I always go like, for someone to be able to, you know, break the record of Bernard Boy, I think it's really going to be difficult, bro, because you know, Bernard Boy is still in his, you know, youthful age. Bernard Boy is still in his, you know, youthful age. And he, from the look of things, he, it doesn't look like he is retiring anytime soon. It doesn't look like he is retiring anytime soon. He, like, he is always making sure that he, he comes out with something that was packed, you know, create attention. Something that was packed, you, that will raise eyebrows. Yeah, that's what Burner Boy is always doing. So for you to get to his pedestal, you need to work extra, extra, extra harder. Yeah, you know, Burner Boy has actually raised the bar. Yeah, I, I, or not only Burner Boy, Risk It David Do and, you know, these other musicians have raised the bar. But, you know, like Burner Boy, like, uh, you know, I'm speaking more of Burner Boy in regards to, you know, the recent, um, 
you know, uh, in recent times, he's been named as the most uh, girls, you know, musician from Africa. So, yeah, Chale. You know, like I already told you, he's been doing great. You know, but looking at the likes of Rema Ashake, you know, looking at the age of Rema and Ashake and, you know, these people, I feel like, you know, by the time... Okay, let me use Rima. By the time Rima gets to the age of Burner Boy, I think he can also do something great, man. Like, yeah, I believe, I believe in Rima. I believe he can do it. Even in as much as I'm not a huge fan of his songs, you know, like I already told you, well, if someone is doing something great, if someone is doing something great, you don't necessarily have to, you know, love a song. You don't necessarily have to, you know, be jamming to their songs or everything. If someone is doing something beautiful, they are doing something beautiful and they need to be, you know, uh they need to be appreciated yeah they need to be appreciated and that's what i think burner boy is doing that's what i think burner boy is doing yeah so on the 29th of um june burner boy will be performing live at the london stadium yeah and i hope all the africans all my fellow africans you know will show up yeah i believe all my fellow africans are gonna show up and you know the foreign the foreign uh i mean the foreign uh outsiders you know the foreign outsiders will also show up you know the like you people should show up on your maximum capacity yeah to support our dear beloved african giants broad like yeah actually african giants yeah yeah, you people should come out on your maximum capacity to, you know, support Burner Boy or Dogu, you know, like, and, you know, the, the support shouldn't all, only be limited, you know, the support shouldn't be only, uh, the support shouldn't only be limited to Burner Boy, you know, we should extend the support to other African musicians, you know, so that we can have more and more and more of, uh, because at the moment, when we are going to, uh, if we are to mention, uh, African musicians doing all these bigger things, you know, filling the O2 arenas, we can only mention few. We can only mention few of them. You know, Rima, Shaki, and all these people. Yeah. So, child, we need more. Anyway, my name is Jimmy Raf. Kindly subscribe to this channel, like, comment, and always stay connected. I'll be back with more fun time. Yeah. Jimmy Ruff. Flat again, see the play on the street with the do things you can't imagine. But boys never play with a high grade. But boys never give up on streets. Depression killer we as we keep grinding, chasing the mullah. You don't see how when I speak danger. Never drive my hustle with the bad mind. Let me say I was no street boy, I be good boy, turn bad. Never turn your back on me if you see me in danger. This is the reality, but nobody say I get a choice. So kind of life in no say we have a choice Make you never ever judge me brother man Make you never ever judge me brother man You know be God, you know be God, you know be God You know be God, you know be God, you know be God you know